<laughs> Dear all of you, welcome to uh, Free Tools Foundation and this uh, screening of Dia Khan's documentary White Right, Meeting the Enemy and an exciting conversation afterwards. My name is uh, Knut Ola Wormos, I'm Free Tools Director and a special welcome of course to Dia Khan. Arno Michaelis. and Pardi Kalepa. Moderator Ingrid Sanderson uh, in the background there. They will all be introduced uh, more later on. Diakon's uh, work is extraordinary, right from my first film, uh, Banat's A Love Story, through Jihad and now White Right, Meeting the Enemy. It's been a privilege to observe her project I think they are always essentially important and they are all, also always pretty difficult, complex. That's because her topics are so difficult and demanding. Dealing with extremism and fundamentalism, often on the borders and margins of society, and always close to the borders between discussion and violence, between free speech and criminal speech and action. Freedom of expression is a risky business, more risky than most people uh, think of daily. It's a potentially very risky freedom. It can all go wrong at any time. But it is the best tool a free society has to do, deal with its problems and the most rational alternative to hate and violence. But then there are strong forces who take this freedom as hostage to spread hate and extremism whether it's right-wing neo-Nazism, left-wing militant activism, or Islamic extremism. And it's in exactly these border areas the Akan is working. She communicates, she observes, she tries to understand, and she confronts the hate and the extremism. Um, it happens that uh, the, humans, the human beings she meets uh, change and even de-radicalize themselves, but not always. But her films make an impression on all who view them, and that's also a result. The impression they make on all, all others. White Right is so impressive that it's nominated for an Emmy Award, and uh, tomorrow morning we will uh, know how it goes. The award ceremony starts at 2 a.m. tonight, Oslo time. <laughs> Cross our fingers. Will you be staying up all night, dear? No. No? <laughs> Not staying up. But in all of these ways I described, Dia Khan's films are also one possible answer to the heated discussions in several countries today about no platforming, where the alternative is to be much more restrictive to letting extremists have a voice publicly, even if their messages are on the legal side. But let me end my welcoming remarks now by something Charles Dickens wrote in his Tale of Two Cities in 1859. It's uh, something which is a good description of our freedom of expression and political situation concerning extremism today, too. It was the best of times, it was the worst of times. It was the season of light, it was the season of darkness. There is much uh, darkness in Dia Khan's new film, which we are now about to see. But through communication and confrontation, she manages to create some very important cracks where the light gets in. Thank you, and I won't say enjoy, but watch, the, watch the film, experience the film. Thank you. And thank you.